Hello everyone, welcome back. Dancer here, and we are on part four of our franchise zoo in Asia um, for the temperate, no, the taiga biome. Um, yeah, I am having so much fun with this series. Um, you can see that we are just going to start off this little time lapse by um, adding a building. Um, we added a uh, staff building and we added the food and uh, right next to the toilets. My goal was that um, that I would be able to build the building and then the guests wouldn't get affected by the staff room. And that would be the case if they didn't have to walk into the toilets, um, but they do, so unfortunately I'll have to move that around, you'll see that later. Right now, actually I'm going to mention the time lapse is about 25 minutes if you want to skip forward, look in the description, I'll have the exact um, second that jump cut right there. Um, but right now, I was actually looking at the Eastern Asian Asia type buildings and I noticed that it usually starts with brick on the bottom and then it goes up to wood. Um, and so that's what I was looking for, like a nice wood texture that would kind of resemble Eastern Asia, um, but I didn't see anything, so I just decided to go with the brick all the way, or the stone all the way. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it, how it ends up turning out. Um, we are going to be decorating this building and actually get the staff building um, percent up to 98%, but it's still not good enough to get that reduction. Um, so like I just said, we are going to be moving that um, the toilet over so that it doesn't get affected because I don't want people to leave. And I'm gonna be really conscious of all of the game mechanics. Like, in real life, you wouldn't know if there was a staff building right behind the toilets, but unfortunately, the um, game does know that. Um, so I'm just going to be really conscious of the game mechanics as well as real life, try to make it as realistic as possible with um, use using the game mechanics. So, yeah, here I dis um, I. I found, or I figured out I built the building wrong, um, so I had to go back and add all of these pieces. There's a faster way. Um, for example, if I wanted that column on every side of, or every, on all of the sides, um, like I did for the gift shop, uh, where we, I added, or I customized one whole piece. And then I just complicate or duplicated it. Tried to do um, copy and paste, or copy and duplicate turned into complicated. But I have a headache right now, so sorry if I'm being really weird. Um, yeah. So I thought it'd be cool if we got like a little balcony, and actually we did two little balconies. So maybe there are like two little apartment buildings up there, like. I don't know, it doesn't really make sense because it's in the zoo, but maybe, I don't know. So we just kind of did that. Um, I like how it turns out. It looks pretty, uh, pretty cute. And we get a bunch of bonus, which no one can complain with, like, right? Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm about done with this building, just going to add a couple of details. And then we are going to be adding a new exhibit. If you remember last episode, you might have seen the spoilers, but I did not say it because some people just listen and don't watch. Um, so the spoilers, you'll find out in a second. Uh, but I'm really happy with how it turns out, this time lapse. Um, it's, it's great. Here you can see I'm checking the, uh, the, the, the staff, like the facility radius, 
and checking to see if guests actually get mad, and unfortunately they do. Um, I saw it was at 98%, so I thought adding that one window would get it up to 100%, but it didn't. Uh, but eventually, we will be adding trees and things in this area, so it will get up to 100%. Um, so yeah, here we are just flipping those two around, and yeah, that is about it for this building. Um, we are going to be going and to get that Eastern Asia feel, like just really feel it, we are going to be going and erasing all or deleting all of the benches and bins that we have so far. And we are going to be replacing them with Eastern Asian themes. Um, you can see here that when I replaced those two buildings, the path now is connected and I hate it and I can't get it to work for the other, the food shop. So we're just gonna have to live with it. I might do um, like some, some little decorating there so that I can just at least move that over. Um, but yeah, um, getting these picnic tables in that I just mentioned. Also, I just got a new microphone um, what's it called? Like a, like a sock? Microphone sock? Maybe? I don't know, it's like a little foam piece that goes around the microphone. Um, hopefully to cut out some of that background noise so you won't have to listen to the AC the whole time because my desk is unfortunately right next to it and there is no other spot in this whole entire apartment building for my desk. So, that is, um, unfortunate, so hopefully that helps. Um, hopefully I sound just a little bit better as well because, you know, I'm not a big fan of my voice, but maybe you guys are. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, still going around and moving all of that stuff. Um, I will say that by the end of this time lapse, I do believe that we have all of the themes unlocked. And yeah, we will be ready to just start building and letting our mechanics stop researching almost where I think we have like four or five more things to research um, and that's not including the blueprints. I don't think we need to research the blueprints but maybe we'll do that at a later stage. Um, but yeah, here we are using the, the uh, trick that I did in the camel habitat with the stamping tool to make it, give it that extra, the feeling and then actually making it level and stuff. Um, I knew I wanted to put the little shelter over on this little flat hill here. I was gonna build it out of rocks, but then I thought to myself, who am I kidding? I can't do that. So we will build it out of, uh, I believe it's concrete. And then I'm gonna cover it with rocks so that it looks like it's covered with rocks, but it's not. Um, yeah, I was gonna have a little window there so that the um, guests would be able to see the tigers. Hey, I just said it, I spoiled it, sorry. Um, but yeah, I wanted the guests to be able to see it. We are getting the Siberian tigers in. If you guys didn't see, um, yeah, super excited. Uh, but yeah, I wanted that to be a window, but then I'm like, why don't I just do another door? There's another entrance for the tigers to get in. And yeah, um, here, one thing I notice, I don't know if you guys have the same issue, but when I look at the Zoopedia, it will tell me that the it needs to have so many square feet or square meters of land and it will tell me like everything is in meters and then how high the wall needs to be is in feet and i don't understand it because everything is in meters in this game which doesn't bother me like but when it says that in it needs to be in feet i'm like how many meters is that like please does that- does anyone else have that issue? If so, can you fix it? Did- did anyone else fix it? Please let me know. 
Connecting this path right there was like one of the most frustrating things I've ever had to do in my life. Um, not actually, but felt like it. Um, so yeah, we're actually having this path go right through the tiger exhibit, habitat, sorry. Um, and it is, I'm really happy with how this habitat looks. Um, it's gonna look pretty not good until it's basically done. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it turns out. So stay tuned to see how it turns out. I build this awesome little bridge thing, which is actually linked in the um, description, I think. I have a headache. I can't think of words. Um, so yeah, I believe it's in the description. So yeah, go check that out if you want it. Um, yeah, so I was gonna add those um, we're gonna be glass where that brick glass is, but then I saw that the glass is only grade two and it needs to be at least grade three. Uh, so we were just gonna do that, but then I decided that actually, I'll, I'll explain it when we get there. Here we are starting to build the little um, paths paths over I can't can't talk for some reason which doesn't end up working until the very end of this time lapse um, so I got it to work I'll explain that more as I'm fixing it but I thought it'd be really cool to have uh, the tigers just be able to jump over and um, or actually walk over and have the guests get that really intimate feeling with the tigers walking over them. Um, so yeah, I did, this one is kind of uh, customized to my zoo, but it does work. Um, and all you have to do if you want to use it is just change those other, that one side, um, the side with the shelter, change those to straight um, or turn it more, however you want it, just, yeah, just turn it and, uh, yeah, and it should work for you as long as you keep the right angle. Um, that, that is important, as I will discuss in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be cool to do the rope here. Um, and I, the big ones, the big tigers, the adult tigers, cannot escape. Um, I'm not sure about the baby tigers. Um, here, I said in the last episode, I was having such a struggle with the, um, the, the thing. Um, yeah, <laughs> the selecting tool, that's what it's called. Um, and so, yeah, um, here I was just trying to add more rope to the outsides, but I, Decide it looks good enough and we just move it over. I kind of wanted it like a netting. Um, and then unfortunately I was doing um, a too many things while recording this. So I don't get the finishing of the rope on it. But you will get to see it in just a second. Um, what it ends up looking like right here. So I put straight ropes straight to the... Um, brick and then we have the straight ropes on top make it nice and tight and Yeah, so here is when I discovered that we have the tigers in the habitat and It's they're not able to get over to the other side. So it's non-traversable So it doesn't have the full um, The full amount of the um, it kept getting cut, so it wasn't, like, counting it as the, the, um, habitat. So, what I end up doing is I deleted that middle glass, and I put in building pieces, because then it won't connect the barriers. Um, so it's all connected, or considered one habitat, rather than two separate. 
So yeah, um, and then to fix the, oh, sorry, my computer just died. I need to touch my mouse more. I think it dies after 15 minutes. Um, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, to connect or to fix the non-traversable area, I do go and elevate that path. Um, so I just deleted it all. And then if you're struggling to do the pathing, if you press control, it won't snap and then shift to take it off the ground um, and make it any height you want. I wanted to keep it as close to the ground as possible. So that's what I end up doing. And yeah, I think it turns out pretty great in the end. Um, I do want to delete um, one of the paths, uh, like the tunnels and in the live episode. I'm not sure which one yet. Um, but you will see I do add another one and I'm just I'm not super happy about having two plus the overpath um, because when there's too many unders the tigers prefer to do the unders rather than the over and I really want them to use the over so um, yeah my cat is awake and he is sniffing my cereal so please don't eat my cereal thank you and he just ran away Hopefully he doesn't get mad and start meowing at me, because that's probably what would happen. Right, George? Yeah. Uh, so here we are just adding the rock to the building, um, like I mentioned before. I think it turns out okay. I do want to add some more rock um, to give it some more dimension, because it's pretty flat and boring and yeah. Um, so yeah, we will add that and then actually I just thought of it, but we can add some more um, Add some plants to it as well and make it look kind of like there are um, weeds growing in the rocks and Other things like that just making sure that the tigers are actually able to get in and there is the traversable line there so they can get in um, and we are just gonna add some the, of the uh, plants so that we don't get protesters because I believe protesters make the regular guests very unhappy and then we will start giving refunds which do not want to do um, so yeah and I think at this rate of adding epi or adding um, animals we should be able to keep adding episodes or bleh, animals every couple of um it looks like every about five years is what we're adding a new animal at right now which is pretty good um i would like to kind of shrink that down but if not that is fine we do or we are playing with the animals um slowed down by four times so that is perfect i am really happy they added that into the game not sure when they added it in, but yeah. Um, so about here is when I realize the tigers are not going over the overpass. I have not seen them go over the overpass. And um, I do reach out to the Lady Designers Discord server. And someone was available right away. I'm not sure who it was. Um, sorry about that. Um, but they did reach out to me right away and give suggestions on how to fix it um, So we will get that fixed um, And another thing I noticed is the tigers were able to traverse the area But it they weren't able to walk it. They had to jump and I didn't want that because that's not fun No one wants to continuously jump to get there um here we're adding that second one. This is the one I think I'm probably going to delete because it makes, um, with the shelter being there and that um, pillar for the sidewalk, it just kind of makes it not really usable for the tigers. Like they do use it, but I, I just see better things that we can do there. Um, so yeah. And then it also makes the um, area right in front of the shelter very steep and the tigers aren't able to use that and yeah. So 
Yeah, I think we're gonna probably delete that one and just raise it up and then we can do like an enrichment item right there. Um, I did some research on the tigers and it did say that they were from the northern parts of China, um, Russia, and there was another country but I cannot remember it, sorry about that. Um, so I figured that there would probably be a lot of forests. So that is why we added the bunch of branches, or the trees like clumped together in the back there. Um, but yeah, so here is when I'm deciding, like, I thought maybe it had to do with the fact that the glass was clipping in with the wood. So I moved all of the glass down that didn't fix it, um, so I changed the type of wood because the other wood was from the construction, not the habitat. So I changed it to, to the habitat wood, um, and it still didn't fix it. Oh, sorry about that. There I was starting to take some screenshots to put into the Discord. And then they mentioned, um, try to use manipulate the terrain. Um, I didn't really want to do that, so what I end up doing is I just lessen the slope, um, and that is actually how we fix it. Um, so here I'm just testing that. Um, I was going to do water, but then um, that wasn't going to quite work, so I just made sure that it was not able, or it was not traversable, the underpaths, so the only way they could get over was by going and using the overpass. So that is how we discover that it is good. Um, so I knew that the other one, other side connected. So I changed this side um, and you can see that all of the grid lines connect and they use it. Here I'm taking a screenshot to thank the person that suggested that to me. And now the tigers actually will use the pillars like we just saw and um, just kind of chill on the up slope. And yeah, I'm really happy with how it all turns out. This last little bit is um, since we finally got the overpass working, we are going to move the ropes so that it actually connects to the um, glass that we have there. Um, so yeah, um, I will put two links in the description for this blueprint. I will have one with the glass and the other with just the um, bridge itself. And then if you want to move the ropes or whatever you want with the ropes, um, you are free to do so as you please. Otherwise, the glass will have them all connected and you can always change out whatever building material that is that you want. Um, and I, I kind of went with a realistic vibe, so it's not all um, parallel because in the real world, it's not always parallel. Um, they also probably would have used a different type of netting rather than a rope, but I, I think it looks good and it's usable for the game. Um, so that is all that I care about. Um, it looks good. It works. Tigers can't escape, so I'm pretty happy with that. And um, yeah, um, thank you guys so much for all of your support. I am really happy about this zoo so far. Really excited to see where it all goes. And yeah, um, thank you guys for leaving all of your feedback so far. Um, and p please feel free to leave more feedback. Uh, whether you think it's a negative feedback, um, I do still, I love to read it um, because then I can see what I'm doing wrong and how I can improve um, as I am still a small YouTuber. And yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out and I will see you guys in just a second in the live portion of this video.
Hello everyone. Welcome to the real time. Sorry, that was really creepy. I'm gonna try not for, never to do that again. Um, so this is what we did in the time lapse in case you skipped through. Um, we built this lovely Siberian tiger habitat. Um, we do need to add some rocks on the inside here. Let's go ahead and start with that. Otherwise I will forget because I did not put that on my list. Um, so we are going to do that right away, starting it off wonderful, and yeah, we got to find the biome and the taiga biome because that is where these are from, these tigers. We need to add a line to surface. There we go, there we go, there we go, um... There we go. Wonderful. How is everyone doing today? I hope you all are lovely. Um, we'll uh, come back for the rest of Oh, 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 okay. This is leaning against, um, I'll fix that later. I think we should, um, I want, I want to click on you. There we go. Perfect. Okay, good enough for now. Um, I'll probably come back and do a, fix it up in a time lapse. Um, so here is what we did. We got this lovely um, tiger bridge thing, and I actually made it a point to connect all of the ropes to the glass, which took a while. Um, yeah. Um, oh, another thing I do have on the list is we need to get a water filtration for this water because it's starting to get dirty and the only filtration we have is way over here and it doesn't reach. So we'll do that. Um, I got this little forest here and I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe adding some dead trees in, but I'd, I don't know. Let me know in your, um, your comments and let me know. Um, we are also going to delete this, as I mentioned, in the time lapse. Um, it's just not really working for me. <gasps> no! Okay, I have to delete the path, and then we should be able to fix it, right? Let's delete that one and that one, just to make sure we have enough room. Terrain. Flatten. Okay, there we go. Let's get that path back before I forget. That should be good. I like how it says it's elevated, but it's actually like a little down slope. Um, whatever, it works. Fine by me. Let's um, go ahead and smoothen this out. Perfect. Yes. It's, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. I think this will encourage the tigers to use this a lot more. Let's unpause and see how the tigers are feeling. Um, I think all of these guests either got sent back to the entrance or they all got refunds. Let's hope it wasn't refunds because... I mean, we can afford them right now, but I don't want to... Yeah, they just came right back in. We haven't had... Oh, we did have some refunds two years ago that might have that was definitely during the time lapse don't know what i was doing there but yeah um looking at the finance just a little bit closer um we are making decent money which is very good here we have a tiger on the path thing um i just spent like 30 minutes after I recorded the time lapse trying to get a tiger to walk over here for the thumbnail. Literally, if that's all I had to do to get the tigers to walk um, on here, I'm gonna be kind of frustrated. Um, well, you were like glitching, but you look like you're actually walking on it fine. I don't know, I think that feature is so cool. Um, now, I don't have any bins in this area. I'm gonna go ahead and pause before litter gets worse over here. 
um, we have to say hello to get those extra conservation points. And we have some vets research done. Siberian tiger. And we only have one more. Um, and then we will be maxed, which is lovely. Um, so we will have to add the enrichment items as well. Um, okay, let's get... We have to go to facilities, benches, bins, and everything else, but not actually. Um, we're going to go with Eastern Asia themes, theme, um, and I've been using these bins, so we might as well keep with it. Um, we're going to just put bins right next to the donation boxes. Um, so yeah, that should be good. We should be able to... Go ahead and unpause now and um, not have too much litter. Um, do we have one? We have two caretakers. Let's get another one in and then we'll actually also train our staff so that we can um, get them all up. We should add another keeper. That is a good point. I think on average we should have about... Two, uh, three keepers for two habitats. So that is what I'm going to go ahead and do. And I'm just going to get two now. Um, just so that they can um, get ahead of things. And get a grip on things. Oh, look at how beautiful. It's just amazing. Like, I think the, the viewing is great. Um... You guys are dumb. The tigers are over here. Um, but... Yeah, they're, they're starting to walk over. Um, I don't like how they have to jump onto this. But, yeah, this is what I was talking about in the time lapse, where they just will now come and chill on there, which is lovely. Um, how old are you? You're 9.4 years old. I hope you guys will breed soon because that would be so cute having baby cubs oh so cute um we do need to get some more barrier research and then for now we are doing power about halfway done um i don't think there's a need to do habitats because that's blueprints um and then yeah we just need to do that staff and yeah these are all blueprints so there's no need to do that and that would be all of them. So that is awesome. We might come back and revisit it um, for a later, just to have it done. Um, we are eight minutes in and all we have done is added barriers, or added bins. Um, let's go and, are you guys gonna use the bin? You guys are all carrying garbage. You. Okay, that's confusing. You guys too. They're like all just carrying garbage, but they don't see the bin. I don't know what's up with that. But as long as they're not littering, I'm okay with it. Let's get some. Um. Oh, we gotta take off the. Oh, the okay. There we go. Let's get some education up in here. Um. I think we're fine just to add it on here. Um like so oh and we'll do the same actually we're gonna move this one down because that is a good line of sight straight to into the shelter um, and then we'll add one right here in front of that tree um, and get the tiger education up and this is considered inside the habitat um, and so that makes guests really happy um, unfortunately only that one side is connected um, so that's kind of a bummer let's get um, that right here oh where's that power line oh wow that barely is on it um, we'll just add some more power. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. 
Um, and then can we get the radius up a little bit more? If you're in the habitat, you're gonna hear about it. Oh, also the keeper uses the bridge, which makes me really um, happy. We have a diseased animal. That is not good. Um, can we call a vet? Let's actually, we only have one vet, so let's actually get a couple more vets. Um, ah, okay, pause. Okay, uh, staff, we need to get, let's get two more vets, which should be plenty. Um, yeah, habitat is at risk for disease. Um, and we're going to take you and start looking into that new disease that we have. Unfortunately, that wasn't one of the diseases that we had already discovered. Um, let's definitely call Keeper to here as well. Um, because now we have five Keepers for three habit- and we have- yeah, five. So we should be good to, uh, get that. Um, what are guests thinking? Let's see, guests over here, nope. Oh, overview, there we go. Um, the zoo feels pretty small, zoo ticket price is good. Ticket price are underpriced, we can go ahead and bump that up a little bit then. Oh my gosh, not 120. 12. There we go. Huh. Many guessing tickets are overpriced. Yeah, I would too. Um, we'll change the child to $6. Um, and at most of the theme parks and zoos that are around me, the child price is about half of the adults. So that's just kind of what I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, let's see what we got going on. Feel, zoo feels small. We will need to work on that. Um, litter is disgusting. Toilets free. Yes, they are. Okay. Um, yeah, I already dealt with you. Okay, we got that done. We need to add... I'm looking at my list here. Um, we could get some benches over here, maybe. I'm not sure if benches will um, go in a habitat. Let's see. Need to go theme. Um, they will. So let's maybe go underneath the tigers, and that should be good enough for the benches um, and we can do some more after this area uh, we do need to move this bench and then let's just get another one right there as well um, which we could also do right here um, we do need another ATM I believe we have only one in this area I do want to add some trees and stuff to try to hide that um, so let's do that. Let's get some nature. Um, let's go to all. Um, let's get a continent of Asia. Just to really stick with the theme we have, um, let's get some ivy on the, uh, barrier here. That is lovely. Um, and let's go ahead and do that over here as well. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Makes it makes it look just a little more green, which is always nice. Um, Let's see, there's not much for like smaller trees, or dead trees. Um, we can get a dead tree and then we can do... 
but we want to unalign. That one's a huge tree. You're also like pretty big. We'll just do it. Um, and get a bunch of. Should have done the the bushes first. I always make that mistake. Oh, these are blue. That's pretty. Still like the same bush though. Um, these flowers are cute. Um, let's see. We got this moss. You can definitely add the moss in. Um, not really a good spot for that one. Um, where are you gonna let me put you? I suppose I can always just push it down. I always forget about that option. Like so. I would say that looks good enough. Yeah, and that's another item crossed off the list. You need a mechanic. Perfect. How are- oh, that's not the barrier. Here's the barrier. Doing pretty good there. Wow, there is so many people in this area. I guess- that makes sense because a tiger appeal rate is like 5,800, which is in like the top 15 of the game. So that's exciting. Um, we do, we're getting that disease unlocked. How is that poor animal doing with the disease? Are you back? Using contraceptives. Um. Oh, you're expecting an offspring. Yay! Okay, um, I- That doesn't tell me where- Oh, we want the quarantine. Which one is the quarantine? You are- Uh, yeah. Okay, so it looks like- Wait, or is it vet surgery? Well, either of them don't have any animals in them, so that's good. One thing I did not mention in the time lapse was we did get a work zone for the vendors here so that they will only go to this staff room, which will be lovely. <gasps> the tigers are about to mate! <gasps> yes! I was just talking about that! How exciting is that? Did it work? <gasps> Yay! In October of year 18? Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. You guys, we're gonna have some baby cubs. It's probably gonna be next episode though, unfortunately. Um, I am looking at this and, oh, we got a VIP guest. Hey, it's me. I am our VIP guest. Can I say hello? No, I can't. That's right. Ugh, okay. Power complete. Uh, let's go back over here. Um, okay, so guests could easily drop food in, so what we need to do is make sure that we don't let them do that by getting its security. Where is security? I don't know where anything is in this game. Definitely facilities though, right? A guest facility? No. Um, here we go! Found it. Gotta make sure we do the do not feed sign, like, right here. Um, and they can't over here anymore. So I think that one sign is good enough. I don't think they'll chuck it over. Um. We don't have any security cameras over here. Let's go ahead and get one or two. Mm. 
just get it right there, I think. And then we'll get another one right here. That should be good for that. Um, let's take a peek at the security heat maps. Yeah. That should definitely be good, because then... Oh, we have a security guard there. Um, so... If you move... Yeah. I would like one in this area. Maybe we should add a tall one here. Put it right there. There we go. Just because there's so many people here. Um, and wow, that is busy. What is the other shops looking like? The drink is just as busy. Wow. That is crazy. But we do have three vendors in this area, so they should all be taking breaks and never have two on break at the same time. So it should be all scattered, which would be perfect. Um, another mechanic research done. Yay, m more barriers done. Okay, what should we do now? Got the tiger education done. Let me just... Delete what we did. Um, we added some benches. We got the security signs. We did the plants by the new building. Okay, so what we have left on the list to do today is um, get this research done. Um, actually, no, that was a joke. Um, sorry, my sarcasm is, like, not very good. Um, we're gonna get another info center. Duplicating it, and we're gonna put it right over here. Are you gonna connect? No? There we go. I want to be, like, as close to parallel as possible. I don't think it's going to be very, though. Okay, well... This isn't fun. Um, we'll just have to go right there. Perfect. And don't you come with a vendor? Aren't you supposed to? Well, anyway. Going home... They had fun. What great scenery. Awesome, we'd love to see that. You know, I keep forgetting, but every time I like rewatch an episode of mine, I see that we never filled this area in, so we're gonna do that now. Um, we'll get some bushes. And, and I am just seeing that I missed a bin two bins so we're gonna change them out we probably don't need bins this um, close to the entrance of the zoo but it's better safe than sorry or you just just like enjoying the scenery or oh it is snowing which means I don't think our camels are gonna be in the right temperature let me quickly look at that on the Zoopedia um, 5 to 44, and it is currently negative 1. They are definitely not happy. Um, so let's go ahead and get a couple of heaters in. For sure it makes sense to put it in here. And then one here. We're going to do it pretty chilly in here. I'm gonna have it set to 13 in here. And I don't want the radius to be like super big because I only want it to be like inside. Okay. Now we can press play and they can go over here. Um, so they. They will complain, but they shouldn't. Um, 
because, yeah. I'm gonna put that um, there. Can we select it now? I shouldn't have put that in there yet. Okay. I want to select you. Okay, fine. We're moving the tree over. Okay, um... Moving the tree over more. There we go. We want it to be, like, eight outside. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Bet research is done. Let's get a newbie on that. Um, and maybe we should do another one over here. Just because I really don't want them to get low welfare because of the temperature. So. We'll do that. That should be good. Yeah, that should definitely be okay. Um, cause, yeah, they also have the, the option of going inside. And it looks like that is actually, like, perfect. Awesome. Um, let me take a look at that heat map one more time. Yeah, that's definitely okay. Awesome. Yeah, perfect. Now, guests are um, a little chilly as well, so we can add maybe a heater over by the, like, put it in here. Maybe not. Maybe let's put it, like, up here so, like, no one will really see it. Um, and let's just turn that one to, like, 12. 11. We'll bring that radius way down. So that you pretty much have to be like right here in order to get the effects. Just going for that realism here. Um, a little bit. We can get it a little bigger, I think. I think if you're in line, you should be able to feel the heat effect. Okay, and it looks like it's starting to warm up again, which is lovely. Um, yeah, perfect. And now it's raining. Gotta love the weather. Um, so we got the other info center. Check. We do need to get, um... The water filtration for the tigers. I don't think it's... <gasps> Offspring! Where is it? Um, we're just gonna keep spinning until I see it appear. I don't like how long this is taking. Okay, it should be any second. Let's go ahead and accept this research and just watch while I'm looking at the research. It's gonna happen. Nope, didn't happen. See one baby, two babies. Still haven't had it yet. Okay. Any second now? Any second. Just gonna take a drink of my water while we wait. There it is! Yay! Cute! Okay. Um, right away, we need to... Um... What's your name? Etsu? 
Itsu. Baby Itsu right here. Turn on contraceptives. Just so that we don't have any inbreeding. Also with you. Perfect. And breed a new habitat animal. Perfect. So we'll take that. Even though we don't really need the cash. Let's go say hello to you. It is done raining. Let's see how our other info center is doing. We need another vendor. I want both info centers to be open at the same time. Perfect. So one thing I will probably do off camera is count how many um, facilities we have and then are all these people buying umbrellas? I think so. It's kind of funny. Um, where was that litter? I don't know. Interesting. Um, I'll count how many facilities that we have and then make sure we have enough people in here. We should add a heater in the... That would make sense, right? Habitat. I don't like how it's um, in, marked as habitat when it's um, clearly more than that. Just do it like right here because I don't think anyone's ever going to walk there. We want it to be set to like 11. That should be good. Chilly, but it's not going to cost us, especially most of the year when it's nice and warm. Perfect. Um, tiger enrichment. Let's do it because we don't have any food enrichment yet. I know this episode's going a little long, but I think that's okay, right? Last drink cleanliness. Yeah, we, we're gonna have to start taking care of that pretty quick. Um, we want facilities. Nope. Nate, habitat. There we go. Berian. Awesome. Oops. Enter. Okay. You knew this prey snack. Um, way back here. I think there's plenty of room there. I do want to do something here. Um. Is this enrichment food? Maybe just a toy then. Like there. You are glitching. Um, and then we should do another food enrichment over here. Um. Maybe right there. Perfect. That should be good. Yeah. Okay, and then... Let's see. I want to... I want, so, I'm assuming that this and this gate entrance is gonna move. Um to over here once we expand a little bit more. Probably just makes sense because then we can have two habitats right next to each other, maybe even three, um, sharing one building. Um, so I think let's just put temporary uh, food or the this and um, let's put them back here. For now, just to give everything power and water. You are being purified, which is perfect. Do staff path down to four. And I wish I would just like connect, because I really don't care how it looks. There. Good enough for now. I mean, it's definitely an eyesore to guests, but 
it's out of the radius, so they don't care. And this building, it's like such an eyesore, but oh well. Um, let's let's look at that, and I think that is gonna call it for this episode. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. We're at 750 guests going down, but it'll come back up. Uh, we are at 177 thousand dollars no more um, entrance refunds so that's perfect staff wages will go up a little bit but we are also getting a lot more donations so I think that is just fine and yeah uh, thank you guys all so much for hanging out oh he is leaving the zoo why are you not 100%. Let's see. You are wanting more food and toy enrichment. Let's just do that quick. I know I said, um, but then that's like more time for new things next episode, you know? Japanese. Let's go enrichments. Actually, let's do the fruit tree. Um, we can go right there. Um, suspended forage feeder. I can go like right there. Um, and we need some more toys. Um, we are basically out of new things for them. We need some more toys. Um, I can give you a gift box. Maybe something inside. And maybe it's just because there are more of them. And oh, our, t our tiger is having... What? I'm sorry. What? Um, okay. Okay. I thought you were gonna have a baby. Well, um, we'll save the baby for next time. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Leave your feedback um, in the comments down below, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!